Hey everyone, this is Saurabh Kumar and welcome you all our YouTube channel 020247 Beginning of Winning. Students, today we are going to discuss the new topic which is multiple images in a thick plate glass plate or thick mirror. Okay, and uh, in the previous videos, I also explained each and every topic of this chapter and this is the last topic of uh, the chapter which is refraction of a light at a plane surface okay so those students who haven't watched that video so go and watch that video i explain each and every topic in detail and i also solve the numerical problem in that video okay so let's continue to this topic so student this is l m n p is a thick glass plate or mirror okay here i have explained or i write 10 points which is related to this topic okay so i discussed each and every point and how i form this images so please concentrate on the board this is lmnp is a thick glass plate or a mirror in which this np is the polished surface okay this np is the polished surface now here this point a this point a is an object this point A is an object which is illuminated object. Illuminated object placed in front of glass mirror. Okay, placed in front of glass mirror from which one light ray is incident normally on the glass plate and the other is obliquely on this surface which is LM. Okay, which is I write here. Now, this AB, this AB falls on the surface LM. Now, after that, when this light ray incident on this surface, some amount of light or we can say that a small fraction of this light get reflected and larger fraction of this light ray getting refracted. Okay. So, the small amount of light which is reflected when in the direction of in which direction it reflected b and p okay then when i extend this bp line after reflection it meets this normal line at point a1 at point a1 and forms a virtual image a1 okay forms a virtual image a1 and the larger fraction of the light which is refracted, refracted here, this is air and this is glass. So light comes from rarer to denser medium. So when light ray comes from rarer to denser, it bends towards the normal. So from the surface LM, when this light AB get refracted, it bends towards the, if I draw this as a normal, so it bends towards the normal, so it's bent towards the normal after refraction and strike the surface NP at point B dash. Okay, after refraction it will strike the surface NP at point B dash. Again from B dash, again from B dash, which is polished surface, the light ray, the light ray strongly reflected. Why I use here the word strongly? Because this is the first reflection through this polished surface. Okay, this is the polished surface and this is not the polished surface. So, one thing I want to tell you that whenever the light ray, whenever the light ray incident on a plain surface or a transparent surface, a very small amount of light, light get reflected and the large fraction of this light refracted okay so here this is the transparent surface so very small amount of light is reflected and the large fraction of light is getting refracted okay so inside this inside this glass inside this glass here when the light ray this is b b dash a strike on the surface n p which is polished getting reflected getting reflected which is very strongly okay so i used here strongly reflected and after reflection it is strike the surface lm okay it is strike the surface lm at point c here this is the reflection after reflection 
Now, when it has striked the surface LM at point C, now the light ray goes from glass to air. So, the light ray, when light ray travels from denser to rarer, it bend away from the normal. So, here if I draw a normal, so it bend away from the normal after refraction. So, this light ray B dash C after refraction, after refraction goes in the direction of CQ. Okay. Now, when this CQ, I extended in the backward direction, in the backward direction, it it meets at point A2 with this normal and forms a virtual image and forms a virtual image A2. Okay. Forms a virtual image A2. Which light ray? This CQ. After refraction. Okay. After refraction from this LM surface, when I extend this surface at the back direction, it meets at point A2 and forms a, forms a virtual image A2 which is brightest which is brightest because it is formed due to light suffering a strong first reflection at the polished surface okay which i told previously okay this is the first reflection so that's why i used here strongly reflected and the image formed which is brightest image okay now after refraction this one is the refraction a small amount of light again getting reflected now it after reflection it is strike at point c dash then again it reflected goes to the point d from d it again refracted and a small amount of light reflected then comes at point d dash and like that so on okay and the image formed is here a3 a4 and this is the this one is the brightest image. Now, after that, A3, A4 is in decreasing order of brightest image. Okay, this one is the brightest, this one is the small brighter, then small brighter and then this is in the decreasing order. So, this is all about the multiple images in a thick glass plate or a thick mirror. So, this is the phenomena. Here, multiple of images are formed at A1, A2, A3, A4. In the question, in, in your exam, you get the question uh, which image, which virtual image is the uh, brightest image and why. So you write here, you write that the answer is A2 is the brightest image because the this ray CP dash is strongly reflected or the first reflection from the surface of NP so that so that's why this A2 is the brightest image okay and here look this is P, Q, R, S all are separated from each other and also parallel and goes to the eye so in diagram that's in diagram because of diagram it is separated but in actual it all goes to the eye simultaneously so this is all about this topic and the, the chapter which is refraction of a light through a plane surface is, uh, is ended. So if you have any confusion regarding all the topic or regarding this topic, so please put a comment in the comment box. I will try to solve all your doubts. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.